Welcome to Dead by Daylight. Return to the castle, pursued by yet another dark, ominous, and all-consuming force. The halls are familiar, the corridors vast and empty, but the shadow looms over all within with an unnatural intensity. Your heart races, sweat drips into your eyes, and your focus wanes, now succumbing to the unknown once more as you delve into madness within the story of Amnesia. We return to that erected monument, Brennenburg Castle. This structure is layered with dark corridors, growths of tendons and fleshy mass permeate through the great halls, windows of coloured and layered glass, beautifully filtering the moonlight, and decorating parts of the floor in a shattered dusting allowing the cold chill of the entity to whistle through these empty rooms. Bookshelves, desks and cabinets, all full of an academic supplies and desires, but nothing to fend off the monster that's within one's own mind. The new killer is... The Gatherer. A creature, twisted and malformed by cruel intent, resides in these vast and maze-like halls. It shambles, barely held together in constant torment and physical pain, able to lash out and unleash itself upon the tormented survivors in its path. It would be hard to mistake such a creature for any man, but one can't help but feel sympathy for a fleeting moment. The way its flesh sags, loosely stitched and held together, hand crushed and made into violent, useless claws. They roam Brennenberg, Nothing more than a byproduct of a man's pursuits. The Gatherer's power is unraveling sanity. A creature that preys on the withering mind, the Gatherer's very presence tests the comprehension of the mind and allows them to manifest the survivor's own fears and succumb to overwhelming odds that could prove nothing more than a brief scare or a violent shock to the heart. With this innate ability, the Gatherer causes survivors being chased by itself or within its terror radius to lose their sanity over a period of time. Once their sanity decays completely, survivors begin to unravel, their minds now vulnerable to another one of the Gatherer's unique torments. Survivors can attempt to counteract this by hiding themselves in lockers, immune to sanity decay there, and slowly regaining their composure the longer they remain inside. The Gatherer can gain access to its core abilities by holding the power button and readying its wretched anatomy to perform horrifying acts. When ready, the Gatherer writhes and grunts, the pain it endures causing intense suffering, which can then be manifested with summon figments. By pressing the active ability button, the Gatherer summons two figments to appear within a short distance of each survivor, those creations immediately beginning to pursue the closest victim. Figments have their own smaller terror radius, and cause sanity decay just as the Gatherer does. Upon contact with a Figment, the survivor screams and immediately has their maximum sanity reduced as a result. If this would cause a survivor to unravel, or if they are already unraveling, they are injured by the Figment, their own fears manifesting into very real, dangerous harm. Figments dissipate after a short time while pursuing a survivor, when they become stunned or are light burned. Summoning Figments has a long cooldown before it is usable again, once all Figments in the trial fade away. Instead of summon Figments, tapping the attack button while prepared will allow the Gatherer to stumble, a harmless stagger that allows the killer to push past survivors. While seemingly ineffective, it allows the brutish Grunt to cleverly strategize and position themselves to unleash their second attack, Thrash. By pressing the attack button again after using the stumble, or holding the attack button to perform thrash without stumble, the Gatherer throws itself forward violently, swiping its arms wildly at everything in its path for a short distance until it makes contact with the survivor or object. On impact, it begins thrashing around in place, wounding any other survivors nearby. Hitting a locker this way will also rend the doors away, shattering them and leaving these hiding spaces useless to survivors. If a survivor was in a locker broken this way, they are ejected out of it, and immediately wounded by the attack as a result. The Gatherer comes with three new perks. 
The tune of madness rings through the corridors of stone, and you know it well, using horrific overture. When a survivor would scream, all other survivors within a short distance of them expel their own fright, screaming as well like a contagious fear has invaded their minds. This perk has a short cooldown before being able to trigger again. A self-fulfilling engine made of terrible, horrific perfection has formed in your grip with Scourge Hook to the slaughter. Four hooks in the trial become Scourge Hooks, synergizing with other hooks of the same type. Whenever you sacrifice a survivor on one of these Scourge Hooks, the auras of each survivor who only needs to be hooked once are revealed to you for a short time, allowing you to continue your cruel methods. In addition, whenever you cause a survivor to enter the dying state, the hook nearest to you becomes a Scourge Hook for a limited time, unless you place that survivor on that hook. Should you fail to, that hook reverts back to its normal state, leaving the machine hungry for more. Your physique is horrible and great, an abomination meant not for the eyes of man, nor the mind of the weak. And yet you persist, growing violent as they resist you with outburst. Whenever you become stunned or blinded, gain notable action speed increase when breaking drop pallets, walls, damaging generators, or vaulting. Your field of vision also expands, your frenzied outburst demanding you to hunt down who are responsible or better yet, someone to take it out on. The bonus lasts for a short period of time, giving you a burst of violence to wield wisely for a brief window. With the soles of shoes scuffing the stonework of the castle beneath his feet, a familiar, uncertain man emerges from the dark, wielding an oil lantern. Here stands Daniel. Return to Brunnenberg Castle, his memory gone and near useless here, but with the primal fear of darkness, and what he's once seen before within it, invading his mind. This time, there would be no escape. Daniel comes with three new perks. You've seen the strange developments firsthand, and have made useful notes on survival against them with your adaptive observations. Once you've seen the killer's aura for a certain amount of time in the trial, this perk activates. While active, you are immune to the blindness and oblivious status effects, and any time you would see the killer's aura, that aura is revealed to you for slightly longer, rewarding your research methods. Your quick thinking and need for survival has fueled your ability to evade danger with escape plan. When you are hiding in a locker, and for a brief period after emerging from it, your sounds of pain and breathing are completely silent, and you leave behind no pools of blood. Patience and careful action can be rushed in dangerous situations with hideaway. After remaining crouched for a few seconds, your aura becomes impossible for the killer to see, shrouding your location in mystery. In addition, you are faster at performing slow vaults and non-rush hide actions, helping you to keep out of sight of the monsters that seek you out. These corridors echo with pain and distress, the madness cascading into a beautiful song meant to lure the maddened and desperate deeper into Brennenberg. Insanity will follow you into your safest of places and only continue to pursue you in the darkest corners of this world and every other, exploiting every possible weakness shamelessly. Overcome these impossible hurdles with the newest chapter concept for Dead by Daylight.